subscribe and share. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Fusion Up and today we're going to talk about how to make sure your garage door is not hackable. And this is a very interesting topic because many people don't realize that many of your day-to-day -day applications can currently be hacked which will allow easy access to fees of many types. So for those of you who don't see the obvious, the reason why some people might want to hack your garage door is simply because it's easier to steal things. One, if you're having a thief go through the garage, specifically if the garage door is open and they have access to that method, then that means that from an outside appearance, it looks like they are authorized to do it. And um, even if they don't see the owner in it at all. And the second is, again, it's easier for the thieves to do whatever. And you have high valuable items like your cars and the garage. Now, of course, if someone wanted to get in and, and they want to get in no matter what, they will find a way to get in. But this should slow them down quite a bit and make it very hard to impossible to hack them with modern day technology. So, as far as that goes, uh, um, second thing I want to mention before we move on is the same technology that I'm talking about is the same technology manufacturers has put into garage door openers for uh, when jets fly over and certain things like that. Uh, one of the biggest problems that a lot of people have been having, especially in the past decade, is whenever a military fighter jet or even a commercial jet or certain trucks or certain things pass by, it, the radio frequency will trigger the garage door open and close for electromagnetic interference. And uh, you'll find the same thing happening with doorbells and things of that nature. But um, the same technology to protect against that with the code wise is the same technology that uh, protects you from having problems with hackers or at least thieves that's using hacking tools. So how do you know if your garage door is hackable or not? Well, look at the garage door remote. And what you need to do is open it up if possible. And if you see dip switches, and I'll have a picture up of the dip switches. It's if dip switches in the garage door remote, it's potentially hackable. If you don't have that, then you are all right. There's already some security methods in place right there, or should be. So with this, if you have dip switches, what you need to do is go and look at the manual. And if you don't have the manual with you, which is 100% understandable, then what you need to do is see if you can find an online manual or maybe even email the um, manufacturer himself and remember to send them your model and they'll tell you if it has one of these things that I'm going to list, which is a security plus, security plus two, and it tells code, rolling codes, and hopping codes. Basically, if you see any of these in a manual, or say you email the manufacturer and ask them if they have one of these, and I'll leave it in the description so you can just copy and paste it. If you want to just email the manufacturer, we'll tell you yes or no. If it's yes, then you're safe. If it's no, your stuff is hackable. It will literally take someone with a code grabber 10 seconds. They press a button, it takes 10 seconds, and they'll open your garage door. So that's pretty bad as far as um, as things goes, and it's not as complicated as many people think. It's literally the, the coding for the code grabber is already done. All that stuff is done off-site, obviously. All they have to do is press a button, and they grab it, and they run with it. But anyways, if you have any questions or anything, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. If you do want to lead any more information to here, then please feel free to do so in the comment section. Also, if you don't like this video for whatever reason, then go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why in below. But if you like this video, and if it helped you out, please leave a like, subscribe, share, 
and especially check out the other videos and follow us on Twitter. But anyways, this has been Craig Bennett, founder of Chef Nope, and hope you have a great day.